She's really gone. I'm never going to see her again. She was leaving me, you know. She, she, she hadn't been leaving me. Did she leave me a message? Did she say anything? She, she might have changed her mind, but she, she might have been on her way back. Come here, Sarah. I'll take him. Come here, Sarah. She's dead, really. She's dead. Oh, no, she is. Hey, come on. Baby Jack needs you. God help him. Come on, Sarah. Let's get him. Come on. You saved her life, mate. Really? But you, you think she'll pull through? Can't call it, but she's back from the brink. Wanna jump in? Me? No, no. I just found her. I, I, I don't know her. Get yourself checked out, eh? You look traumatised. Yeah. Thanks very much. The bleeding's caused Peter's heart to arrest. My main objective is to stem the bleed. Oh, at least he was here when it happened. No time was lost. You should probably prepare yourselves for the worst. Yeah, we know. We'll do all we can, but it might not be enough. Please try! What did he say? That it's a miracle if he makes her. Mind you, they always paint the worst picture, don't they? It's in case they get sued. Oh, love. What can I do to help? You've done your bit. Getting him out of there alive. They've discharged Simon anyway. Oh, some good news. Let's hope that's a sign. So I'll uh, take him home, get him settled. Can I do? Just um, just go and get Simon sorted and uh, get some sleep yourself because I might need a babysitter tomorrow. Okay. You uh, might as well jump in a taxi with us. There's no point you staying here. Yeah, you should go. in here when there's so much sadness. Me and Ashley used to have this stupid routine. Every time I go in the butchers, he'd say mince and I'd go homophobe. It's just so awful. Why couldn't Graham just remember him standing behind the counter cracking his cheesy jokes? Seeing Ashley's body will make it more real. It'll help him grieve. How? Can you imagine the state? I think he went for Claire's sake, as much as anything. To be her rock. And when he gets back, that's what he needs you to be. Sip it slowly. How are the boys? Are you checked on them? First asleep. Poor little mite. Where's Becky? Dunno. So do you think Kylie's gone for good? I hope so, who knows? Has she taken little Max with her? Sorry, none of my business. He just got his life back on track. He was doing so well off the drink. I know. Did he get his bells out okay? Oh, Leanne would have made sure he did it. You don't think... You don't think Peter's gone? Oh, yeah. oh. Have you seen it out there? Yes, yes. Are you looking after the uniform? It's a, a small gesture. Good lad, yeah. Tyrone, sir. It's understandably. Well, where's our Molly? Sorry, sir, no 
access from this point. We've been trapped in the corner shop. They got out yet? Are you a relative? I live at number four. If you're a relative, I'll find out what I can. I need to find my wife. Well, most residents are either in there or the cafe. You look like you could do with a drink. Does Diggory know? Diggory? It's all right, lad. It's all right. I didn't even think. We'll see to Diggory. Yeah. How much is this, babe? Would anyone like anything to eat? Toast or soup? Mm. Leek and potato, cream of tomato, pea and ham, carrot and coriander. Molly well, hated pea and She said it reminded her of double maths and wet Wednesdays, that she'd rather go hungry. She was leaving me, did she tell you? No, love. I'm so sorry. I said to her, you're not taking my son. And she goes, he's not my son. The last thing she said to me was that he's not my kid. Maybe, maybe she just said that to you so that you wouldn't try and stop her taking the baby with her. Yeah, people say all sorts of stuff when they're desperate. If she was still with me, she'd be alive. I mean, she'd be unhappy, but she'd be alive. Oh, don't die. Well, why not? It's true. <laughs> it was too late. She got it. I'm sorry. She's not tonight, Dad. Have you seen Sally? Thought she might be in here. I'm gonna go and track her down now. Well, it looks like you're off the up, lad. Congratulations. Oh, no, I'm sorry, sir. Look, look, I didn't mean I didn't mean it. Right. My son needs me. He's, I, I'm the only dad he's got that makes him my son. Yeah, of course it does, lad, yeah. You take Tyrone to the hospital. Yeah. I'll stick around here for a bit. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Where the hell have you been? No wonder I couldn't think straight. Becky, it's bedlam out there. <laughs> That's nothing compared to the bedlam in my head. Oh, look, I don't want to row. I ain't rowing. Even if we could find another five grand, do you seriously think that would be an end of it? Claire, them lads have been no bother. I've not had a peep out of them. Oh, Claire. Have they got him out yet, love? Ashley died. No. His face looked fine. No cuts, no blood. He looked like he was fast asleep. <laughs> he always sleeps with his mouth open and he can't breathe through his nose. He used to worry that if he ever got caught up in a bank robbery and they gagged him that he'd suffocate to death. <laughs> the bank robbery, the things he worried about. He should have gone to France. We should have got to France. We should have got to France. Your sister's here to see you. Hi, sis. Sorry, Gustavo Lil didn't let me in. Very resourceful. I'm sorry, I bailed before. I'm really glad you came back. What they said? Ray's well, still in surgery. Down, but not out. He's, um, he's got internal bleeding around his heart. Oh, haven't we all? <sighs> anyway, uh, uh, they're trying to alleviate the pressure. Right, I'll go and, uh, I'll go and ring Deirdre, see how Simon is. <sighs> so, what's the prognosis? If, uh, Told us to prepare for the worst. <laughs> they obviously don't know Peter. I've not tramper with Carla. <laughs> well, he's not going to die, though, is he? Is he? Not die. He just <laughs> wouldn't leave us. I know he wouldn't. 
you everywhere. We're not supposed to be in here. Hey. You're frozen. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Nagging, getting here with me. Let's have another look. She's like Thumbelina. Small but perfectly formed. Yeah. Wasn't supposed to happen like this. We'll just take it an hour at a time, yeah? Our little hope is holding her own. All those little miracles pinned up on that wall. With some proper little bruises up there. And out as tiny and as frail as our daughter. Our daughter. It's the loveliest thing I've ever heard. I'll say. Come on, you need to sleep. Our daughter needs us rested and strong. Yes, doctor. We're a family now. I think she bled to death. Oh, mother. Poor Tyrone. Yeah. Poor oh, baby. What's Tyrone done to deserve this? He's as honest as the day's long. Yeah. Still not got over losing Jack. Oh. Let's start sticking else checking the B&B. We don't know when the electric's going to be back on. She was only 26. Was she? Blue eyes, always twinkling. I couldn't see her properly, but I held her hand till. I bet that comforted her. Do you think so? I bet she knew you was there. Oh, she did. We talked. She was conscious. I did most of it. I told her about you. The milestones of being a parent. Oh, you kept her distracted. Biggest favour you could have done her. She was so young. So pretty. Did you think she was pretty? I suppose. I'll uh, sling a few things in old Ollie. We shouldn't be in here. Don't try and sell with me up. I prefer life through beer goggles. I noticed. Oh, come on, Leanne. Everything's better after a big glass of red. Sorrow, joy, new order at the factory. Then crunchy, it's Friday. I will drink to anything, me. So far. Rubbish. Yeah, rubbish. Everything's a bit random and pointless, isn't it? You really cop about Peter, aren't you? I've even prayed for him. Prayed for God I don't even believe and he'll pull through. Don't tell him I've hit the bottle. I'll do his best disappointed face, it kills me. Oh, Carl. <laughs> One nil to Miss Marple. Oh, sorry. Mrs. Marple. He's been trying to keep me off the sauce. So why would he pretend you're some bloke? <laughs> I don't know. I asked him not to broadcast, I suppose. Oh, and that includes me? 
Why lie? If it's also innocent, why lie? It's a fair cop, innit? Yeah, I mean, we've been having a steamy affair fueled by PG tips and ginger nuts. You honestly think we've been carrying on? Well, yeah. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. I didn't go for Claire. One for me. Well, that's okay. You loved him. I did. And I used to tell him all the time. <laughs> it was the quickest way to wind him up. I just say, oh, I love you, Ash. And he'd go all rampant hetero on me. But he was a teddy bear, really. Did you talk to him in the mark? I told Claire and Audrey that I'd left my mobile in there. And I went in. And I thanked him for being a gentleman, for giving me a job fresh out with young offenders, you know. You're a great boy. I kissed his forehead. And I told him I loved him. And I told him that I'd keep an eye on his boys. I thought you were in hospital. Oh, hardly a scratch on me. What's the news of Peter? I took him in surgery when I left. It doesn't look good. Oh, oh Ken and Deirdre. And Leanne, of course. Deathbed wedding, I believe. Yes. Look at your shop. <laughs> well, Rita's still blissfully unaware. Yeah. She was meeting a friend in town. And now she's gone completely off the radar. Uh, a friend cancelled on her. I saw about six o'clock, she's going back to the flat. Said she'd been blown out. No. So, Rita's still in there. She's been in there all this oh. time. I'm oh. lying somewhere under oh. all that rubble. Get back to me. I know what you're doing. Oh, 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 oh. Please, please, please look quickly. Get your diggers and the cabin. Rita's in there. Leave me alone. No, please. My friend is in there. She could be dying. Rita, they're coming to get you out. I know sometimes you pretend you can't, but you bloody well listen this time and they're coming to get you. Come on, come on, come on. Help. Come on, lad, gotta get in there. Oh. Oh. I've uh, packed some stuff for Sharon as well. She hadn't been walking out in time and she'd still be alive. Maybe. She was on her way to a new life. Set up home with the baby's father, maybe. The real father. Who knows? People give up on marriages too easily. I mean, look at us. We've clocked up a lot of miles. You're not kidding. It's time last year I thought I was a goner. You've done brilliantly. Doctors have done brilliantly. I've just been lucky. I've just responded well to treatment. Thank God. That's some twisted honey trap. You pretend you've got a drink problem and he comes running. He was there for me. He gets it. We're supposed to be mates. Nothing happened, all right? Define nothing. I humiliated myself. Nicely, if you must know. He said he would tempt it, but he was in love with you. Poor beggar. You don't deserve it. That's why he kept pushing me towards Nick. All that I married the wrong man stuff, he kept whispering in my ear. I did. So have you. I love Peter. And you love Nick? I chose Peter. Oh, dip, 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 my blue ship. You didn't choose Peter, Leanne. You married him for his experience. I don't know anything about our relationship. I know we've been faithful to you and you haven't returned the favour. I think you were just caning it to get his attention. Oh, don't judge me by your standards, love. The number of times I've confided in you. Yeah, lucky old me. I thought you were looking out for me being a mate. Uh, excuse me, have I blown the whistle on you and Nick? No. 
Because I couldn't hurt Peter like that. I think too much of him. He left me the night the bar opened because Carl sent our an SOS. Why are you trying to shift focus onto me? I haven't had an affair, nor has Peter. I am not having an affair! Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Sailing on the water like a cup and saucer. Hey, with the deathbed wedding, Leanne. Got to add it to you. That was genius. What are you going to do? Sell the book his palm Simon off onto Ken and Deirdre. You what? Oh, yeah, she's good. You know what? If he does croak it, you best try and look devastated for at least a couple of weeks before you and Tilsley sail off into the sunset. And you, after all those paying customers, it'll probably be a relief to find the real thing, won't it? Yes. You're drunk. Well, he's gonna lay down, so in the funeral. Where is he now? Gone back to the hospital. I want to see the baby? Yeah. He wanted to know if Molly had said anything. Any dying words? Yeah. I couldn't even give him a crumb of comfort. <laughs> I wanted to say. Yeah. She said she was sorry. She'd made a terrible mistake and she was on her way back to you when it happened, but... That's just a fairy tale. Nobody gets a happy ending in real life. I'll try. Do you think I should have lied? I don't know. you told him? I don't know, Sal. I don't know anything anymore except us. It's only us make any sense. And the girls? Goes without saying. What about your son? Hey? Your son! The son you fathered, you and Molly. You and your best friend's wife! <laughs>